Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I will be reacting to episode 7 of season 6, the killer final season of How to Get Away with Murder. And basically we are officially two episodes away from the winter finale, but also where the flash forwards are going to all kind of lead to. But I do have that idea that we are not finished with the flash forwards for this season after this episode, the episode 9. I do think something else is going to continue in that finale where it's going to still have a flash forward and it's going to be like the pathway to the remaining episodes of the season um but this episode should be really intense because everything is starting to fire up and yeah no one is like everyone is pitted against each other which i guess is the fbi's real purpose and idea for this whole thing but i'm very scared but also excited because i like, anything could happen. Like, who killed, killed Elise? Like, what happened on graduation day? Like, I just... So many things. I hope you guys are going... I hope you guys enjoy it. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, over a month ago. And as much as I thoroughly enjoyed dates two through... Wait, a month has passed? Since their date? That was like two episodes ago. Five being on the phone. No, I'd like to meet in person. There's no uh, boning happening in my room, not with you or Gabriel, because I am fabsident and focused until exams are Fabsident again. Heard that before. Yeah. What makes you have hope for this? This? Go away on a shoot! Oh my god, no, please don't. Who are you? Sarah Gordon. I think this is my Airbnb. Oh god. Today, we're gonna do things the Maddox way. Professor Key, what is this 2 L leading our class? He's first chair on this case. Why? Because he brought me the idea to be punished. Wait, are you? I don't know how to say this, so I'm just gonna break the band -aid. I'm breaking up with you. What are you talking about? I just need to be alone for a little bit. Is this because I told Annalise about Solomon? No, it's because of everything. Kayla, do to hurt me so bad. You know, I'm get away with this. I object. She shot and killed my son. So what are my options here? I could take a trial, I could push for the death penalty. <laughs> Annalise is like, I know what you're thinking. Legal option. This guy illegally brought a gun to his school. Why does he deserve a more Christian trial than any of our other clients? Because it was an accident. You see, David thought that his student, Ryan Fitzgerald, was going to attack his class. Ryan's dead. If he can't heal from this, then I shouldn't either. What about his school? <sighs> my dad committed suicide. My family never talked about it. The avoidance tore us apart. I'll share my story. Mr. Millstone, meet me at my office at 2. We'll leave from there. Class dismissed. We'll be next. How is this any different than filing a restraining order against Xavier? She's going to hit back, mate. Out things that none of us want. Hey, go! Daddy, do the thing! It's not going to happen. Because we got to scare Tegan from filing. What about you just asking for real nice? I need bad brain for this. Is he ready? He's always ready. Woo. Hi. Uh-uh. You're still fired. I called her. No, she's not helping on this case. She was in the DA's when Miller put the head on my butt. Again, I fired her. Because of me, and here we are. Tegan. I'm sorry. He was about to plead guilty. As his attorney, I can't let him do that. Not when there are witnesses who are willing to testify that he thought he was acting in self-defense. There will be a... I'm sure Annalise had nothing to do with that. Why don't you make me your co-chair? Oh, careful. Ooh. You're gently showing. Hey, Michaela, I bet you want this fire right now. What is he talking about? Oh, Can you two leave me out of your pissing contest so I can study? Yeah. I saw Mr. G holding a gun. Ryan made jokes all the time about finding an old grenade in his yard or that he was learning to make a bomb. Everyone thought for sure it was a gun. It was his phone. We all found that out later. Look, Mr. G didn't mean to kill him. It was a bad decision to bring the gun, but I really just think he was just thinking that it would protect us. Going to show everyone on his phone <coughs> was David's profile 
for a dating app just for men. We work in a Catholic high school. David would have lost his job, and Brian knew that. So part of me wonders if that's why David shot him. Oh. So no one would... It are because he definitely didn't mind. I knew the minute I saw his photo. You think everyone's gay. Okay, for me? Sure. <laughs> Oh, he's speaking from experience, Oliver. There's the uh, the straight soccer player, straight banker. Oh, and don't forget about Andy Dresser. I think, see, my mom brought everything back from me, everything we've done. Yes. The whole point of restorative justice is to talk and heal. We never talk about any of it. Oh, sure. I just, I still don't even know what you all did exactly to Sam. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Here's wrongful death suit. I know it's not a good idea, but it's what Nate wants. Nate's an idiot. That's what he wants. But he's going to do it with or without my involvement. Michelle. Oh wait, this is all Frank. This is what Frank's done. Oh. I always come through, you know that. Bad Frank always comes through. This was good, Frank. I thought what scares me the most was losing love in my life. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, uh, to the 18th date or whatever. In person. In person, tomorrow night, you plan it. Oh. Now this, Ryan, was the only piece of her I had left. I understand. I lost my baby boy to a hit and run. I never said. It's not about changing the system. You want for David what you want for yourself. To confess your guilt about killing your mother's ex. That we should forgive our trespassers. The sinner who repents. I want to forgive you. I really do. I don't feel the same. Because you're homosexual? Did you think Ryan was too? Did you try to? No, I would never. I, I swear on the Please Bible. Please don't speak. If Ryan was so troubled, it was your job to help that child. I don't think I deserve forgiveness. Ryan is the one that the thing that I'm afraid to say because that's how much shame there is is um, when Ryan came into the class that day I had hate in my heart for him Mr. and Mrs. Fitzgerald I'm so sorry for taking away the most important part of your life so give me any punishment you want I want that too I want to take it Has a sentence. Oh boy, this isn't gonna go good. The plea deal 20 years for third degree homicide, plus five years for possession of a weapon on school property. Defense, do you accept this plea? We do, Your Honor. The plea is accepted. Mr. Golan will begin serving his sentence immediately. We go through all that and he still gets the same 25 years. This hearing was a better use of tax dollars than any damn trial I ever argued. True. I said, you made a mistake. Mistakes happen. Don't trip over something so small. The fact that you're not pissed Dude. about that actually means that your feelings for her are absolutely okay. not real. You don't know anything about me. I know she oh. deserves better than you. Oh. <laughs> you're in the freaking courthouse. Oh my god. You're in a bloody courthouse. This is Michaela Pratt. A text or email is preferred to voicemail. It's something like... Too soon to apologize. Huh. It would be better as if you didn't do anything that needed apologizing for. At least no one got arrested. Not the point. Connor. Got a couple good hits in though, right? Huh. Sure. 
She's on a date, Tegan. I feel like this is the thing that could convince her not to run away. But Tegan got rid of it. So he just went to Bonnie. Oh, she's back. Katie's right hand. Give me everything we have on her. You got it. You still in Philly? Where else would I be? Isn't this a penthouse? Good. Send me a copy of the winter bottom file tonight. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's Xavier. That random chick from the penthouse and the governor all colluding. What? Go get your head off. I've done worse than that. Same. I never told you about that night. You can say everything. Ollie, 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 shit. Ollie of art is okay, everybody. Wait, but at the police station. Frank, oh, Jesus, oh. Ollie's in shock. <gasps> whoa, whoa! Wait a second, what the hell? They are doing something that they've never done before. They are giving us everything about the murder except the person that has been killed. So we don't know who's dead. Well, Annalise, but I think someone else. We don't know who the, it's the informant, right? That's who they're building to. Oliver is guilty as F. But we don't know what is going on and who he's killed. Because usually we know like the killer or... No, the last couple of seasons it's been who... Yeah, no, who's dead. But we we didn't really know who did the deed to the person that died. Like, there was some unanswered question. But now... So like, Connor... Because they were like to Connor, like, we know you did it, just tell us. So he's covering for Ollie. Makes sense. <sighs> But why would he be killing Gabriel? Like, that's who I think the dead informant is. Why would he be killing Gabriel? Like, he is the most confusing person to be the murderer for whatever reason, whoever is dead. He's like the one that you wouldn't expect to do it as well. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, we're going to find out in like two weeks, everybody. Well, we're going to find out one part of it in two weeks and then we're still going to have to wait like a month or two to like before the episodes come back and then we'll have like six weeks of just like pure torture and then we'll have the series finale and it'll just murder us. It'll be like how to get away with our own murders because the show will kill us. 
But overall, the episode was really interesting, especially the case for Gabriel being first chair. Really, really interesting case that wasn't didn't have really its shock value, but it just kind of was an interesting situation to kind of witness and get you thinking, hey, about school shootings, which every case that they've done this season has been and has always been major issues that are current and relevant right now, which is always a positive because it gets people thinking, gets people talking, starts conversations, and they really mentioned this episode how they, the healing of talking about it and they're really bringing up Sam so much this season because that's where it all began. That's where they all went into the murder club because of what they did to Sam and Connor opening up about um, Sam to Oliver for the first time is big too because it means like they're trying to heal them before everything goes haywire. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, make sure to click subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.